MP, and Let's we're go. back for another app. Yes, sir. Yes. What's up? What's up? What's up? So excited. We're back. So, this is so exciting. All of you guys may be wondering, who am I? But before that, I'd like to introduce my fellow host, the ever handsome, ever smiling. Cap turned backwards, oh. Mr. Ramon. You! Tin, tin, se- seko. Okay. Hi, Ramon, you seko, guys. What's up? <laughs> Alright, then. Next is we have Miss Rafi Leon. Hello, Miss Rafi. Hey, guys. I'm Rafi. <laughs> and the last, but not the, the least. The one and only. The one and only, Mr. Kyle. <laughs> Wow, wow, and uh, Kylie Oversell. V. Oh, Gary V, Gary <laughs> V na pala. Oh, yeah, Gary, Kylie V. Kylie V. <laughs> anyway. What? Oh, no, oh, no. Okay, any Huberts. All right, and any Huberts. Hi, I'm Derek Lee. I am the managing editor of The Bosun, the executive producer of DR95. And welcome yeah. to episode 8. Ano? What did Zero say to 8? Ano? Nice belt. <laughs> nice belt. Oh, yeah, I remember this. Shout yeah, out yeah, to yeah. my mom. <laughs> Shout <laughs> out to my mom for giving me that joke. Where's the man, sir? So, okay, okay. musta naman kayo lahat dyan. Musta naman kayo sa bahay ninyo. Um, well, everything's good. I mean, requirements, for the requirements na ngayon. So, yes, you know, trying God. to complete all of those so that we don't have to worry about anything anymore except ourselves. Yeah, dude. That's true. So that's for We've me. been drowning in schoolwork, honestly. Papers, discussions, and all. Oh my gosh, stressful. I've been, I've, I've been great. I've, been, I've like, wala ako masadong school work. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, um, <laughs> nagig <nagigitar>. guitar. Oh, <laughs> pero, pero in terms of work, in terms of work, in terms of work, sobrang daming work. Wala na ako school work, pero sobrang daming ko work. Yeah, pero okay lang naman. I'm yeah, fine. So we're also busy. My gosh. Yeah, wait, 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 guys. Why do why would it why won't you ask? Um, how, are you? How, how are you there? Hey, how are you there? How, how, there? how about you? Sorry. Oh, ako, I, I'm doing well. Actually, back here in the province, medyo mahirap yung internet dito. Uh, okay. Oh yeah. I Yeah, okay. So, oh, yeah, this, this is the problem, okay? Uh, in the morning, flat out rotating brown out. And then in the afternoon, uh, our internet is so bad. Na I can only do messenger text. So if I want to record or if I want to send some videos or just watch some YouTube videos, I have to get up at around 3 a.m. or around 6 a.m. Wow. So during those times, when ko sina submit yung mga homeworks ko. So sorry na lang po sa my problems. Kung super early in the morning. Yon! Submit. Shout out. Yon! <laughs> <laughs> Shout out sa mga prof ni Derek. Yeah, but you know what? Uh, yung maganda dito talaga sa province life is when I came back here you know, at at home, b- back in the city, lima lang kami sa bahay, uh, barely any people there. But when I get back here, I meet, I, I'm with my lola, my tito, my tita, and I'm I really was able to reconnect, reconnect with my family. That's good. And That's good. and every every early morning, kasi yun nga, I have to submit and do some of my homeworks early morning. It kind of gets hard to to get right back to sleep. So minsan around 4 a.m. or 5 a.m. kasama ko yung lola ko nagwawalis, kinikwento niya sa akin. Oh, ganito yung nanay mo dati, ganito na tatay. Wait, tatay are you for real? Nagwawalis ka at 4 a.m.? Kas- kasama si lola. Are you How for can you real? see everything at that so at that time of the night? That bonding or morning. What? I thought bawal ka magwalis sa gabi kasi you can't see the dust. Do is not like an anime. It's not gabi. 4 a.m. is dawn. Early morning. <laughs> well, it's bad. still dark. It's, it's still dark. No, maybe. Is, was it, is it dark, Boss Derek, at that time? No, isn't that when the sun's rising? Yes. The sun rises at 5. At Correct. I think it's 5 30. Dude, it, it's summer naman, diba? More yeah, day it's overnight. summer. I, I, I sleep at 5, so I would know. 5 pa lumalabas yung Oh, yes. Yeah. At 6 a.m., it's like very hot already, so. Hey, maybe you're in different yeah. time zones. And I'm going to be that time. <laughs> Oh, nga pala. Oh, yeah, pero, pala. Ha- ibang planeta pala siya. Pero how are you guys naman with your, yeah, guys, with your families? Helping with your families? Well, with families. our family, well, everything's okay naman. Like, uh, I'm getting to spend more time with them, actually. Well, um, uh, more time for Di bonding. Di sila masnob, bro. <laughs> what? Di mo na sila masnob. <laughs> oh. I, I never snob them. I love Ganun my ba? family so much. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Shout out okay. mom and dad. Okay. Shout out okay. mom and dad. Okay. <laughs> okay. Rafi, okay. ikaw? Okay, so there's actually a our own like curfew here in the village so basically and a quarantine so um 
we're not allowed to have food delivered. I mean, everyone, naman, right? We're not allowed to have food delivered to our houses. And like our groceries, so we have someone do it for us because we don't go out now. So the thing is, um, we pick up all our groceries, our water, everything that we need in the gate. So my job here at home is to drive to the gate every time we order like groceries and to pick it up, bring it back home. Yeah, so that's what I do. I am a driver here. So for me, naman, like super fun, cha, because like my mom's work from home, I'm work from home. Mm-hmm. My sister is like. My sister just got into UAMP. So yeah. yeah. Anyway, congrats. Um, another like, dragon. Yeah, um, another dragon. Um, but my dad, my dad is in and out because he, he, his work is he, he, food che. He make food production mm-hmm. So parang in 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 a way, major frontliner dad go because they they uh, make food mm-hmm. and then wow. especially especially now, de ba? It's hard to to get food na parang lalo na pag nawawalan ka na na food. So. Yeah. Um, he they their business basically is like they make home cook, cook meals and then people can order. So, parang my dad is in and out of the house, like magstasia dun sa commissary or like where they make their food, which is like a house rin naman. Pero she parang three days siyang wala, three ba- days siyang balik. So yeah, but it's okay. Sobrang fulfilled siya. Feeling niya talagang alam mo doing it for other people. Yeah. Bayanihan, but, bayanihan. Bro. I mean, of guys, course, nakita niyo nyan. Round of applause yeah. naman for I mean, Tito, guys. Come on. Tito. Come on, dude. Tito, you're the best talaga. But you know what, dude? Uh, the, that's really the luxury of things na at least Tito is still able to to serve but at the same time still meet with his family. Mm-hmm. You know, like... Uh, Grabe na, parang naiyak ka. Parang sobrang touch ka sa kwento ng dad. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, it's okay. <laughs> well, parang, baka naman. Ako rin naman. It's a very hard touch <laughs> naman kasi. Bro. No, no, no kasi, I mean like because you know what you're, no, you're I, wait lang wait lang wait lang wait lang, wait lang. Di, I, not, not to cut you off here okay not not like my dad you know my dad kasi so my dad's like my dad loves to cook mm-hmm. din kasi so and like so it's like really it's really nice to see him na parang kahit napapagod siya or may fear may fear na parang baka mahawa or something talagang what he's doing sobrang fulfilling for him mm-hmm. Lalo na pag naka-deliver siya ng food to people or like naka, nakagawa siya ng meals for like, let's say, 300 families. Talagang fulfilled siya. Yeah. So, yun lang. So, gets ko ba na iyak si Derek? Got you, Derek. I got you. Oh, that is so... Thank you, we understand, Derek. We understand. You know what? Us right now, we're trying to do everything that we can to help our frontliners. Yes. But recently, with all of these things happening and all of these social media posts, we're starting to see talaga na frontliners are just more than healthcare and uh, logistics personnel yeah. or people uh, yeah. fixing in the cashiers in your local supermarkets. Yeah. They're heroes. Mm. They for are our sure. modern day sure. heroes. For sure. So Greatness in the ordinary. Nga, Salute. Greatness in of the course, ordinary. dude. Extraordinary <laughs> times call for extraordinary people talaga. Yes, and one of them is a frontliner from Makati Med, uh, Mr. Juris Yambao. Mm-hmm. So oh. we were able to get an interview from him. So here's his story. Hi guys, I'm Juris Yambao, a radiologic technologist from Makati Medical Center. And I just want to share some of my experiences as a frontliner in this pandemic COVID-2019. At first, no one akala namin madali lang. Kasi before it was even declared as a pandemic, meron na kaming cases dito sa hospital. And personally, ako, natag ako sa PUI, because I had direct and close contact with a COVID-19 positive patient without proper PPE. So I need to undergo 14 days quarantine and gratefully naman yung results ng COVID test ko is negative. As for the experiences sa duty namin, hindi siya madali kasi at first it is very tiring personally kasi 12 hours kami nag-duty. So hindi siya madali lalo na sa part na when you encounter a patient, you need to do the test or the uh, medication by yourself kasi as much as possible, iniiwasan yung contact. So, even the nurses won't help you. Ganun, mag-isa, mag-isa lang yung patient sa room, mag-isa mo din sa room na pupunta. So, hindi siya talaga madali. Pero, kinakaya naman since, yun nga, uh, this is our profession na pagalingan sila. So, from experience, yung kailangan mo balutin yung sarili mo ng PPE, even the machine that you are using, you need to protect yourself. So, hindi siya madali. Pero everything is worthwhile naman pag nakikita namin na may mga gumagaling na patients, pag may nadi-discharge na patients. So for us, for those who are staying at home and listening, it is better to protect yourself by staying at home. Not only that protecting yourself, but you're also protecting those 
healthcare professionals na non-stop na nagkikater ng patients kasi as much as possible, we want to lessen the contact and we want the numbers to decrease na kasi as we all see, each day tumataas ng tumataas yung cases and still there is no cure yet. So the best way is by starting within yourselves to protect. By staying at home, take as much vitamins as you can and be updated and keep posted sa latest issues and news about COVID-19. And also, I want to share that hindi talaga biro ang pagiging healthcare professional at this pandemic kasi meron din kami mga families na gusto na namin uwian, mga relatives, mga kaibigan na gusto mo puntahan, mga lugar na gusto puntahan, pero hindi namin magawa. Kasi nga, it is our duty na pagalingin itong mga COVID-19 patients na to. So, yun, nakikiusap lang kami that please cooperate na stay at home, huwag labas na labas, make less contact as you can, always wear face mask. And to those who are healthcare professionals like me, to my colleagues, I just want to thank every one of you that together nilalabanan natin to and that to always keep yourself strong and protect and always ask for the guidance of God. So that's it. I just want to thank Boson and DR95 and Marco Pantalion for this video. All right. Wow. So thank you very much, wow. sir. So guys, any thoughts? Oh. Anything to say from the video? Um, ako, ako muna. I'll, I'll start. Like, okay. Medyo sobrang interesting to see like even how the medical people na parang expected mo na parang sobrang on top of everything. Uh-oh. Like didn't expect this to be this big either. Like mm-hmm. and it's so and it's so nice na parang within the w- ano w- even with the shock of like I bet we're all in shock on like how big and how terrifying this thing has become, right? So for him it's so nice to see somebody na parang Na wala, eh, ganun talaga. This is my profession. Yeah. Um, you gotta do, uh, you gotta do. Na, at, saka, at, saka, at saka yung fulfillment. Like what I was saying uh, kanina about my dad, pero siguro not to this extent na yeah. when they see people na gumagaling, everything yeah. is just like Worthwhile. worth it for him. Yeah. Diba? Well, galing, galing, I, I agree. I mean like 12 yeah, hours of duty a day and then what? You have 12 hours to rest. That's wild. Salute, man. I, all, I, all I can say is I'd yeah. salute to that guy. Yeah. But you know, I, I, I agree with what you less than 12 said. hours pa sila to rest eh. Yeah, I mean, with the commute, diba? With the commute, either, yeah, everything. Mm. I, but yeah. I think the thing is, here is like, the the feeling they get when someone, uh, after being quarantined for 14 days, they become tested and become negative. So, for COVID. So, I think that's really touching. I mean, like, you're doing all of this just for the people, yeah. serving the people. And then, this is what uh, they get after so I think it's really fulfilling. The, their job is really fulfilling. So yeah. In addition yeah. to that, um, I think what's also what makes it um super striking and like heart melting is that a word? Heart <laughs> warming. Um, heart melting. Heart melting. Heart melting. Heart warming. The fact uh, that pili pa kay search na lang. Pili pa kay search na lang. Google okay, page. It's Para really hard nothing, guys. Pero, <laughs> um, they usually deal with the patients alone. Diba? It's It's so sad. Yeah. That, yeah. Um, they have to uh-huh. go through all of this alone just to avoid contact, just to make sure yeah. that they're safe, they're healthy. And then, um, what really struck me also the most was at the end of the video when he was um, asking us to stay at home, to cooperate with mm-hmm. all the regulations that have been um, implied because in reality we all have to be accountable for ourselves because we're also the ones facing this virus because if you think about it it's just here it's just around us i mean we can we don't know um when we can get it if we're even gonna get it yeah. but the fact the simple um act of taking care of yourself and just um staying at home and listening to the advices of these frontliners because they know what it's like to be there so they know mm-hmm. um they know the precaution perco- precautions diba? so like, yeah. i mean i think for us it's really we have to be accountable for ourselves and since they're already doing their job let's do our ours too because uh, on the on the negative side if we get this disease it's gonna go back to them naman. so let's all you know just help each other be a community here and be responsible for ourselves. 
Yes, you know, I wanna add, I want to add to that lang. You know, they're saying na, na right now that the couch potatoes are actually doing a really good job to help the, this <laughs> pandemic. Be because they, they're, 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 they're not going they're anywhere. They, the they, they'd rather stay at home. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So, yeah. I mean, I mean they were, like, they're doing, they're doing what yeah. they want oh, okay. while helping others, actually. Yeah. Yeah, I, I I I agree. Well, I think it's more of it's medyo a passive aggressive statement eh, to say na parang oh I'm going to sit I'm going to sit still in my home and this is my help. I mean, uh, tama naman yun. Of course, that's the yeah, first step. Sure, yeah, um, throughout yeah. the different, diba, th- I mean, like I know we're talking about like civic duty and like helping out sa labas, pero the first step talaga is yun, just staying at home. And I think like um this is my this is okay. This is just me. This is ano siguro my first and last parang strong ano kasi you know we wanted this to be ano this is my message to all especially college students na lumalabas pa rin it's sobrang <laughs> as in like alam mo yon as in meron pa rin mga lumalabas nakita ko yung story oh nila parang nakakahanap pa rin silang way to drink with sa village or something or like no, uh, no, may no, kita ko no, sa kanila sa parang, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. oh as in like I, i'm like okay so here's okay so here's my point here's my point when you talk to these people, ang sagot nila is, ah, hindi, pare, like, hindi naman kasi, wala naman akong symptoms. Eh. Or like, hindi, pare, like, I'm so, I'm so yeah. bored at mm. home kasi, yeah. like, hindi ko na kaya. Mm. What don't you guys understand? It's not about exactly. you. It's about everyone around yeah. you. It's I about agree. the people I like, agree. like, yeah. ano, it's about people like Sir Juris na, alam mo yun, yun na nga yung plea niya, eh, na parang, you don't have to like, shell out money or you don't have to be a frontliner per se. Pero like, the very least you can do is just stay at home. Like, I don't know how that's so hard. To, sorry, I'm just irritated. Talaga. Pag nag-scroll ako sa Instagram, like, why are you in Marcos Highway? What are you doing? Like, like bakit? Ano ba? Uy, parang may pinaparingan like, kaya. Parang may pinaparingan yata si, ano, si Kyle. Ano? No, I'm... I'm, I'm I mean, like, if, if you're that person, you know who you are. But that's my point lang na parang we have to start realizing. Well, especially now that now that tayo yung youth, di ba? Na parang we're so used to like serving ourselves and all that yeah. stuff. And, like for times like this talaga, please, please, it's not about you. It's not about what you're feeling, ano, na you're, na parang nagkaka cabin fever ka na. It's not about that. It's not about your, um, parang kailangan mo na talaga lumabas kung di sasabog ka na. Dude, Hindi, pag lumabas ka, sobrang daming maapektuhan. So, oh God, it's, it's basically knowing the difference between what you want and what your country really needs or what your community really mm-hmm. needs right now. Yeah, not just country, just like the, the entire <laughs> human race yeah. needs you to just stay. Yeah. Entire world, yeah. Entire like world. friend. Bakit ka nasa Marcos Highway? Can someone explain this to me? Bakit, bakit siya nasa Marcos Highway? Well, 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 well baka naman kasi he's going to the grocery. Baka, 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 baka mag-donate lang siya. Yeah, baka baka mag-donate siya sa hospital. Mag-donate. Oo. No, pero the intention, the intention of just going out. I mean, just take care of yourself. You go out. Yes, yes. Okay. You come back home. Observe proper hygiene. Change your clothes. Wash your hands. Mm-hmm. Sure. De, but wait lang, wait lang. To clarify, yung person na nakita ko sa Marcos Highway, I saw the caption. Uh-oh. Yung nakasulat sa story niya. Hindi, hindi siya nag-dotonate, okay? But anyway, <laughs> alam, alam, alam. Okay, Kyle, if, parang if, if you see me, go lang. Kyle, 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 it's okay now, it's okay now. <laughs> no, because I'm in Mark, I live near oh, Marcos yeah. Highway. Eh, kung, na, kung, eh, kung, kung, kung yung na-infect mo yung mga ano, anyway. Okay, anyway. parang Kyle is getting too, yeah. Uh, yeah. too frustrated na. Kaya nga, you know what, Kyle, maybe it's your, ano, it's your, passion to keep all of these things at bay, you know, you gotta support other people, mm-hmm. you gotta help out especially, yun nga, something so moving like what Kuya Juris himself said so, mm-hmm. but you know what, on a lighter side of things we actually have a UAP student mm-hmm. who went out of her way in order to serve others so I think either yeah, Rafi or Ramon may know something about it. Oh yes, actually, this uh, she's actually a first year student. Am I right, Rafi? Yeah, she's a fellow freshman. First yeah. year. First, first year, year, yeah. Wow. I think her, her name is uh, Aga Saviri. Actually, what she did is like she had a fundraiser, um, and she she collected a huge amount of money, like a really huge amount of money, with the help of uh her home org. But actually, this idea was the initiative of her sister. And then it became a family thing na lang. They all worked together. They helped each other to raise the funds. And then they donated a lot 
of food. I think it's a bunch of food, a bundle of food, and then <laughs> a bunch they, of food. they donated to two hundred plus families. Six digits, six digits <laughs> worth. Well, it, it's a bu- it's a bundle. It's a bundle. It's, I, I don't a know. Bundle. <laughs> okay. Hi, my name is Ag. Agatha Vere from Bachelor of Science of Business Economics. Well, she really wants to help. Like, um, it's in her, um, part of her thing. She really likes to help. She loves to help. So that's why she came up with this project. She started making posters so that people could donate. She started um, scouting on what food to donate. She made contacts with uh, people that could help her find those who are in need. Uh, so we started posting the po- posters to our social media last April 13. And from there, people started giving out their donations. On April 19, that's a Saturday, I think, yeah, we stopped collecting to focus on the packing of the goods. And I just want to say that we are very, very happy with the outcome since we collected a huge amount of money that could provide goods for a total of 226 families so yeah um after packing all, all the goods we started giving them out to 70 to 80 fam- tricycle drivers and on our second day we had a collaboration with the vice mayor of vice mayor gian soto of quezon city to feed the families of barangay bagong silang mm. yeah to feed the families yeah on bag- bagong silang on the third day, we went to Antipolo City in Porok Maligaya to give out 20 bags of food. And on our last day, we handed out 50 bags of food to the people of Barangay Santa Elena in Marikina City. I noticed this, uh, um, a few weeks back or a few days back, um, Squadra helped you in promoting your initiative. Yeah, right? uh, yeah they posted. Actually, Squadra approached me since they. I think they saw my post. Mm-hmm. in my social media so they approached me they wanted to help me so i gave them the posters and you know they started spreading the news i was really surprised that uh, my organization my one and only organization in this school helped me in my personal projects so um i realized that they are the they are the people or they they are the ones who will help me um reach my goal and and i know i know that they i can count on them whenever i want you know it affected me so much since um other people started to give out even the ones that i don't know and not friends with so yeah it helped me and it helped our fundraising project well um i just wanted to say to those people who really wanted to help um it may not be easy, but doing the first step will really help you to reach your um, goal. So if you really want to help, just do it. Yeah, I feel you. I, um, that's it, Agatha. Thank you so much for this interview. Thank you. Thank you too. Thank you so much. All right. Wow. So wow. a lot <laughs> of things right there. Heart melting. there you've got, <laughs> dude, can I just say? Ganun ba ka-solid ang UAP community? <laughs> like, sila mismo yung nagtutulungan and then her family go out and help other people and then all of this couldn't have been possible without people around her. Her, her classmates, her orgmates, her blockmates. Squadra. Yeah, squadra. Oh, for sure. Squadra. You know what? For yeah. Squadra, shout out to their captain, oh, Andre Nava. Galing. No, but like, okay, Um, I just wanna raise a point na parang, you know, it's, like, wait, first, shout out to the Viray family, like, Kudos. galing, Get yeah. super galing. Yeah, super so, ano, it, um, guys. So, pero I, I kind of wanted to talk about, like, how, you know how, you don't have to s- start an initiative sometimes. Pwede mong, like, to support an initiative that's al- already yeah, ongoing. Exactly. Like, alam mo yun, parang, kunyay, with, like, let's say, Squadra, um, it's so nice to see an organization that was never made to to make to make st- mm-hmm. things like yeah. this. Yeah. Hindi naman sila, hindi naman sila, yun nga, hindi naman sila charity parang org. Um, the, <laughs> yeah. charity yeah. org, diba? They, they, they dance yeah. and like, it's so nice to see na parang they were able to come together and then we were like, you know what? Uh, we see that you get, you are doing some, something good and like, we want to help. Tapos talagang, 
Grabe, as in, it's just super nakakataba ng puso as Derek would always say. Na, <laughs> and heart-melting. Um, to see people na gano'n. Heart-melting. <laughs> heart-melting. Heart-melting. Pili, oh, yeah. I'm still waiting yeah. for the yeah. synonym. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. Pili. Yeah, right. Now, sabi ng producer namin right wow, now yung heart-melting. Okay, congratulations. Okay, so I'm wrong. My bad. <laughs> okay. So, okay. you know what, guys? It just basically shows na it doesn't mean na you wanna do something, you have to scratch mm-hmm. na I have to put up with this, I have to put up with that. Actually, a little bit of support helps. Squadron in itself as an organization, being able to share, like, comment, tag on her posts so people could see it. And that's also free marketing. Dude. How much do you have to pay for all of those things? Nothing. Yep. So it, just zero pesos. Amount of support. I mean, zero pesos. With the help of Squadra, actually, she even said in the interview that people she doesn't even know, that never met, or even not. Even people who are not from UANP donated. So, like, so. Yeah, because yeah, that came from the connection of the squadra yeah. people. So, alam mo yun, and that lakit talaga ng galing, galing. The help or like the generosity, the donations, they don't only come in monetary value or like materials. Because that's what we all think, diba? Like, when we donate, always has to be food. But we can mm-hmm. yeah. donate in terms of our effort, our skills. Like, at this point, we can maximize social media. And that's what they have been doing. That's how um, this whole initiative what became a success because they used the internet to their advantage to be able to get connections and all. And, like, what, what she said was, what she said at the end of the video was, all it really takes is the first step, which is true. Because without that, mm-hmm. yeah. so I mean, through. just thinking about it, parang, it's, like, super parang hectic. Na kasi, like, you have to think of, how you're gonna start, who you're gonna contact, yeah. right? But yeah. the, the, the fact that you're like, you know, brave enough to even just think about it and you know that there's a community out there to help you is already so, like, inspiring that she, she went through the process. So yeah, progress, guys, as what my coach would say, progress, no matter how little, it's still progress. So if you start, yeah. the first step will really get you anywhere. So yeah, and it's also inspiring how um she has that community that, Quadra, the varsity to help her out because that's what made it a success. Yeah. Also. Yeah. Yeah. Galing. Galing. So, guys, if you want to start something, wear Nike because <laughs> just, just do it. it. <laughs> Plug. I hope Nike hears us, though. <laughs> Nike, <laughs> Nike notice us. Nike, so, Nike. <laughs> notice Nike. us, please. <laughs> <laughs> Next episode, eh, no? Lahat tayo naka Nike na. Bang! <laughs> Joke lang. Pero hindi kami joke. Sponsor us, Nike. Anyway. Pero, well, <laughs> anyway. Um, in connection to what Derek said, actually, the community squadra helping her out. After this, she actually helped other communities too. Actually, she didn't even help like one, ano lang eh, like one barangay or one city. Ah, yeah, she went yeah. to Marikina, she went to Antipola, oh, she went to QC. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> what? Yeah. Like, well, Oh, yeah. so like, so clarif- for clarification, okay lang dumaan ng Marcos Highway. Kung yeah. If ganito, yeah. if ganito oh, yung ginagawa. Baka naman ngayon. kasi nagdodonate diba? lang sila. Oh, oh. No, Friend, di talaga. <laughs> Alam, <laughs> di talaga. Di talaga. No, but like, yun nga, si Agatha talagang. Salute. Galing, like, nothing like, uh, sobrang props talaga. When I heard about this, like, I think two weeks ago, or like last week, the first thing that came into my mind is like when I when I heard the full story now when we interviewed Agatha, talagang one may even how she talks eh talagang may kita may mayroon talaga siyang passion mm-hmm. to serve, yeah. and like when we talk to our fellow hosts, diba, our, yeah. uh, uh, the ba our fellow DR ninety five member that's in Squadra, talagang siya walang walang yabang mm-hmm. involved. Is sinabi lang niya yeah yeah we approached her and like we wanted to help. So sobrang as in like props to these Very people sincere. talagang you guys you guys like. The, it's ano, it's people like um it's people like Sir Juris and like Agatha Squadra like those people na talagang keeps the country yeah, going I, as in keeps yeah, people you know going that their intentions are actually pure and it's actually like for so, the benefit bro. of the people not for like clout or to be known or something like yeah. that yeah Inspiring. Or mag Instagram story sa mga kasaya. Help. Help. One, uh, one important na thing na- from this entire from this entire lesson in itself is you know what a little bit of support goes a long way for sure kasi, I, so kasi I know we we all have this amount of willpower like for example let's I want to start a, a a charity drive a fun drive so 100% full support but along the way you encounter some problems 
some hiccups na parang pababa ng pababa, pababa yung willpower mo eh. But because of the support of these people, dahan-dahan na restore ka. So, yes. you know what? When you're helping someone, you're not just liking, sharing, tagging, or commenting there. You're actually giving them a bit of your willpower so they can go on and continue the mission. Yes. So, huge props uh, to the family, to Squadra, and even yeah. to the can donors. I, can I add also? I also want to shout out MMC. MMC. Um, mm-hmm. Kasi oh, parang parang ganun. Okay, so like so so it's a, it's a nice way na okay, we were talking about like orgs na let's say or like varsities like squad na hindi naman talaga nila um part ng description nila tumulong yeah, ng yeah. ganito, diba? But they did. But like it's also nice to see yung orgs like MMC na parang with yung description nila, they're finding a way to use that. Alam mo yun, to para makatulong din. Yung ginagawa nila ngayon na ano, I don't know if you guys are familiar with the creativity in quarantine. Oh, yeah. Like, oh. nag-showcase sa'yo ng art. Nag- alam mo yun? Yeah. Shoutout, Sandro. Yun. Ganda ng animation mo. As in, like, sobrang, alam mo yun, sobrang shoutout to, and, and and I think it goes back to yung point ni Derek na, regardless if it's support, regardless if ikaw mismo yung lalabas, regardless if you're just going to stay at home, or regardless if you're gonna use your org, uh, and then use its strengths para mapa to share something to make this this whole pandemic any something na medyo mas bearable for people like i think it it it's just a collection of efforts from different people yeah, that's going to like keep us like rolling forward diba galing galing shout, shout out to MMC i just wanted to put it out there galing you know uh MMC keeping it alive adding all that willpower and then at the same time still giving us something to look forward to in the middle yeah. of this whole pandemic. But you know what? Mm-hmm. There's this one guy that... Oh I've my gosh! Oh, yes. wow. This is so exciting! Na, 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 na. The man! The man! All right. So first of all, the man. I got to know this guy because of my blockmates na 6YP. Six, six so, yan, sina Pablo Mendoza, uh, some of these IMC peeps. Mm-hmm. And then I see this guy around very... You know, very humble, very kind. First time I approach him, so bro, yeah, very low-key, low-key, low-key guy, super very low-key, low key. super and then, low-key. Lang. But you know what? Very, ano, very hospitable. Just among the people we meet, it's like, dude, you, I think we've been friends, but we've only met for like ten seconds. Mm-hmm. So you know, Mr. Oh, Rice, so <laughs> the spotlight <laughs> is yours. So, so Mr. we, Weiss so. DR95 approach Wise and shout out to Mr. JM Farinas for interviewing Mr. Wise. Yeah. Yes. Shout out to JM, James. my boy. Yes. Hi, my name is Eisenhower Carlos II. Um, nickname ko is Wise Carlos. And yung course ko is MSCM, Masters of Science and Management. Currently in fourth year, 6YP. Um, yung ginagawa ko outside of UANP basically is volunteer work lang usually um way before UENP pa um uh, mahilig na talaga ako mag volunteer and no sa nung pagpasok ko naman sa UENP mas na develop siya since mas na expose ako sa different organizations so sa UENP doon talaga nahasa yung um, org skills ko how did it start yung outside of UENP yung itong covid paano siya nag-start did you just go to yung mga Prior, prior affiliations mo or like you started something talaga um pumunta ako sa prior affiliations ko at the same time uh did something new um first nung nagkaroon na outbreak ng covid nagreach out na ako do sa mga orgs outside of UENP na affiliated ako and orgs and uh, government offices na kung saan ako pwede mag volunteer kaya para nagme-message ako sa kanila na Pwede ba ako mag-volunteer sa inyo? Um, ano ba pwedeng itulong? Ganun. And uh, yung ginawa naman sa ibang orgs is nag-reach out ako sa kanila. Since ano eh, um, yung affiliations ko outside of UNP is usually charity orgs. Hmm. So sila nag initiate ng ano, hmm. na mga charity activities talaga. So um, ginagawa ko is gagawa ako ng isang charity activity tapos i- ikakonta ko sila para i-support yung activity na yun. Something new naman is not within the org, pero pag may nakikita kasi ako sa social media na, let's say, taong nagsa-struggle, kunyari ano, yung sa Cebu, si Aling nagtitinda ng vegetables, para wala siyang quarantine pass, nababa siya. Tapos, pay, as punishment, pinasayaw siya. Then, pagbalik niya doon sa, ano, 
mga tinitinda niyang vegetables na nakaw na yung worth 30k. Nakita ko sa social media na ano, parang para picture niya umiiyak. So, ginawa namin, um, yung nag-share nun, yung friend ko, chinat ko siya, kinuha namin yung contact number nung, ano, ni, ni, nung tindera. And gayon tinatry naman namin mag-organize fundraiser para konting tulong lang sa kanya. And then, kung naalala mo pa si Kuya Tao, yung sa Sonya, guys. Aha, uh-huh, aha. Uh-huh. Yung, yeah, yung yeah. laging nandun sa harap during 12 o'clock, yeah. or 30, yeah. Yun. Um, isa siya sa sinusubukan namin tulungan ngayon. Since noong December nga, binigyan namin siya ng Noche Buena Care Package. Then, recently, um, nanghingi ulit siya ng help sa amin. Since, ngayon, wala na siya sa UNP. Hindi na siya yeah. nagbibenta ng to. Nagbibenta na siya ng balot. E kaso ngayon, hindi na siya makapagbenta ng balot nga dahil naka-quarantine. So, parang kinuwento niya na um, sa message niya na parang need daw talaga nila ng tulong. So, ayun yung a uh, few new initiatives na ginagawa namin na pag may nakitang someone in need sa social media, um, tinatap agad na kung pwedeng mag-reach out, tulungan agad. Uh, maybe now you can just share with us how is it going so far and maybe give an insight on how can we help or develop yung um, doing something helpful to our community outside of UANP or outside what we do in UANP? First, siguro yung pwedeng gawin natin bilang students para makatulong is number one, syempre, stay at home. Um, sumunod pa din sa mga patakaran ng government and kung mahuli man, wag, wag lumaban, uh, sumama na lang peacefully. Then, create content din online kung kaya. Um, kasi, ano eh, once na nag-create ka ng content, ni mga ibang tao makikita, makakita din yan, may entertain, matutuwa. Kaya yung simpleng kahit pag-share lang ng memes, yung tipo matatawa yung ibang tao, uh, impactful na din yun eh. Kasi syempre yung situation natin ngayon is negative. So parang sharing something entertainment din is ano, parang magkakaroon din tayo ng positive kahit pa ano, sa situation na to. Something na concrete na pwede natin gawing itulong is, ayun nga, once na may nakita tayo agad na may kailangan ng tulong, is, ano, let's try let's try our best para mag-reach out agad sa kanila. Kadalasan na napapansin ko, ito, uh, napansin ko din sa sagili ko, is pag may nakita ko, kunyari, someone na nagsa-struggle or nahihirapan, um, share agad, okay, um, plus points for awareness yun. Pero ano ba talaga yung nagagawa natin para makatulong sa kanila? So, other than awareness, dapat meron din tayong ginagawa something concrete, especially kung meron kang capacity to give. Although, na, understand ko naman na hindi tayo, para, tayo, hindi lahat tayo is pantay-pantay ng capacity to give. So, if you really have the privilege to give to someone, might as well exercise that privilege. Parang, you have to direct your, ano din eh, malaking factor yung, ano, willpower mo eh, sa pagtulong. Eh. Kaya, mas maganda din na i-exercise yung will na yun para maging makasanay na. Para pagdating ng panon, effortless na lang sa'yo. Ayun nga, uh, it starts with, ano eh, identifying the problem talaga. Pag may nakita kang someone in need, um, tulungan agad. A week after ng outbreak, Um, sabi ko sa Kasanga is gawa tayo ng something na makakatulong sa mga frontliners natin. So yung each campo is, binigyan ko ng directive kung campo kagitingan is more of bravery. So ginawa nila um, honoring the brave, the frontliners, ganun post. And sa kawang gawa naman is tuturoan yung mga students kung paano mag-donate. Yun yung nilabas nila kung pagmat. Um, paano gumamit ng online banking, ganun. And others naman, is about exercise, para uh, exercises kung paano ka malilibang ngayong quarantine. Uh, meron din time na minilabas na statement president na parang i-arrest daw lahat ng um, critics. Yeah. So, yung, nung lumabas agad yung news na yun, is the next day, gumawa agad kami ng statement na nagsasabi na kung may mga students sa UENT na let's say in-investigate or binigyan ng parang sinasamon dahil sa sinabi nila sa so online uh, para nag-violate ano yun eh, violation of freedom of expression kasi yung what we did is nag-tap kami sa mga connections namin na lawyer or and other government offices na pag may nangyari sa ano na sa isang studyante sa UENT is tutulungan namin With the help of, ano, Commission on Human Rights, syempre. 
Um, para sa mga students ng UENP, uh, suggest ko since uh, uh, kahit ilang il- uh, ilang beses ko na sinasabi, no, um, majority of us is yun nga, pri- privileged tayo. So, use that privilege as much as, much as you can para makatulong sa iba. And uh, um, since ngayong COVID talaga is kailangan talaga natin magtulungan at um, pakita natin yung kakayanan natin na hanggang ngayon meron pa ding Filipino resiliency at kaya natin magbayan yan. Thank you so much, Wise. Thank you so Thank much. You then. Bye. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Wow. What can we say? What can we say? Like, I feel like, I've okay, just to start, like, uh, this is, like, this is someone talaga parang poster guy and genuine ano, person that exhibits this like spirit of service na talagang unadulterated pure spirit of service as in sa dami ng ginawa niya wow. this quarantine period yeah. di ba? sa dami ng ginawa niya na parang and, and it's not just like one kind of like oh outreach ngayon outreach ulit next week outreach ang dami niyang nahanap na ways yeah. to help yeah, out as in sobrang galing Sobrang galing. As in, ako, like ako, if I'm going to point out one, syempre, mas relatable for UANP. Sobrang galing kung paano naisip niya as a leader na parang, yun nga, di ba may mga kampo nga sa Kasanga? Uh-oh. Pero I'm not sure, okay, I'm not sure kung na message, na sabi to sa video, pero like, what he did was, per kampo in Kasanga, he mm. told them to have a project to yeah. help out. Mm-hmm. Alam mo yun, parang sobrang, parang I think, um, Depende dun sa name of the camp. I think one was like something about courage. Na parang, so, yun, so yung group na yun, parang they release stuff about frontliners and about their courage. Alam mo yun, sobrang, sobrang galing as a leader din. I know we're gonna talk about him as a uh, person of service, but as a leader, I just wanna give him his props also. Yeah, I, I, wanna, I wanna add to that actually. Okay. Like, as you can see, in his, uh, as you heard in his uh, interview, like, he really tapped into different people, his contacts, like a lot. He contacts a lot of people, especially during this uh, pandemic. Even Kasanga, he tapped them. I mean, uh, his other affiliations, other organizations outside the school, he really tapped to, them, to those guys just to help out. I mean, he really went out of his way just to help out. I mean, props to this guy. I mean, he has a cool name, but he's a cooler person, actually. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, and it just speaks volumes to what he's able to do if you set your mind to it. Because I just yeah. also want to point out that why he couldn't do everything by himself. Mm-hmm. Like what he said, yeah. he contacted big charities that get to help him to do these big things. But then, if you look at why he's being a leader and he has organizations like Kasanga, yeah. uh, Hopes, uh, he's able to tap into that leadership role that he has. Mm. So he's like the bridge between the people who wants to help and the people who can help. So imagine mo na lang. Earlier we talked about um support. Earlier we wanted to talk about the support on okay, Wise may have all of this willpower, but his strength needs to come from somewhere. And that's the difference between a leader and being a manager. Wise was able to lead himself and his teams in order to serve other people. Instead of just telling people, oh, like, share, oh, like, share, to, ganyan, ganyan, to. <laughs> yeah. People were really involved in his mission and his vision to do all of these things. So, for me lang talaga, yeah. sobrang nakaka-mind blown because technically, this guy <laughs> is my batchmate. Yeah. And to have that yeah. amount wow. of willpower, yeah. connections, yeah. and at the same time, drive to help people. Grabe. Extraordinary. And le- leadership. People, man. And leadership yeah, talaga. You, I feel like, ano, I, yeah. galing. Uh, I think it's really happy, happy in local, these so. times, in times of crisis, na you witness the leaders, the, when the leaders are created, diba? Because guys, mm-hmm. you know the saying, diba? Diamonds are built under pressure. Okay. So, na lang. Wow. So, galing. I galing, it, galing, really, like, galing. Or else they make Cole. J. Cole. <laughs> it's really Cole. relatable. Because, uh, it's, we're already facing this challenge, and with that, there's fear. But the fact that he still steps up, you know, goes through the chari- challenge, challenge, builds up that confidence. My gosh, like it's so inspiring. And it's like it's these things, it's these types of energies, these types, your types 
of positive attitudes that continue to instill hope to people. And I think that's why mm-hmm. even Kasanga, um, yeah. they trusted him because they knew that he had a vision. Na, this is what we want to tell people that in times of crisis, talaga, this is when we step up and this is when people yeah. actually need us. Diba? So actually, I've also gone to um volunteer work uh, like before and it's really you? not easy like you go through yeah i've gone to like wow. projects like we go we Dang. go to like different um rural areas okay ganun. and mm-hmm. guys it's really hard as in you have to think of uh, you plan your lesson plans you make sure it's appropriate for them you go through that uh, change of environment the buyer exposed to so many different people and there's yeah. really such a big risk to take and one of those pa is the financial constraint. I mean, sometimes you have to use your own resources just to get things started. Yeah, yeah. I agree. And, That's true. Yeah, yeah, and going through that is already so heroic. You know, because when else will you be given the chance if it's not in times like this? Diba? So, charity really... Okay, I'm not gonna go like preachy, philosophical, whatever, but it really perfects... Wow. <laughs> it really perfects you. You know, it makes you... It makes you a better person because at the end of the day, at the end of this project, after going through all of this, it's fulfilling because you realize that it's actually not the beneficiary who benefits, but it's you. So that's really one thing I learned also from, you know, volunteer work. And I'm sure he's gone through and he's felt more than just that. So yeah, that's all. I'm, yeah. Yeah. So can we say no, I... that someone can be selfishly unselfish? Yon and I also, I, I, I just also want to point out na how inspiring is it to ano man, and I've been like I, if I'm going to be honest I've been guilty of the same thing right na parang it's one thing to see a struggling person mm-hmm. online and then just like sure. or like uh yeah. magko-comment ka na par share okay and I, and I agree dun sa sinabi niya plus points for like awareness yeah, right sure. pero for somebody na parang up oh, may nakita ko sa Facebook Try natin yeah. kontakin. Yun yung oh first God. line of thought yung first yun na naiisip, di ba? Yun yung first yun na usap. Uh, so, I, I just wanna talk about also yung very big concept na sinabi ni Wise during his video, which is, yun nga, na in, 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 in some ways, I know the word privilege is a very shunned concept. Like, yeah, pag, sinabi, much, pag sinabi, you're so privileged, sobrang negative mm-hmm. connotation siya, especially for the younger people na parang, if, you've been, if you're, you're so privileged, Parang it's like a knock on you and like gento. Pero it's nice how he, yung outlook niya na parang you know what some of some of us like a lot some of us in in our circles like where we live and like uh the type of people we are around. Alam mo meron tayong privilege. Meron yeah. talaga. And in bis na for him parang that was an insult. He's like you know what I have privilege and we should like we have privilege and we should use it. As in what? Yeah, to our yeah. Like, this person is like, like an sobrang yeah, it's, and it's I, so different than yeah, yeah. And I mean like and 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 I mean like this is not I and this is just my opinion. Like I think all of the things we're talking about now, it's never naman to demonize like the reason why we're showcasing yeah, these people or like we're talking about what they're doing. It's never naman to demonize everyone else. This is just to show na parang um you're not obliged to, but I hope ma inspire kayo by yeah. these people because they have done so much for so many people and at such a young age and even like in frontliner natin they have they are literally putting their lives their families on the line just to help out so many people yeah, so super. i hope you guys get inspired by this as in galing galing you know what actually uh, i was thinking about something like that now because i actually had this dip during the whole quarantine season uh na I really want to help, but I don't know where to begin. Mm-hmm. Oh. And then throughout this entire ordeal, me staying at home, observing my parents, I realized one thing. My parents are still working. That kahit, kahit uh, nandito to, I, I forgot na my parents are still part of a company helping other people. And then sometimes my mom will cook our meals. Uh, my dad naman will go out and buy food. And I realized na, you know what? I I cannot exactly have the same type of contacts like Wise or maybe the same type of hold as a leader like Wise. But maybe I can help in my own small way by starting with my family. So you know what? Yung sinimulan ko, maybe 
this this can start something with you guys there try cooking every breakfast for your mom so that when your mom wakes up she doesn't have to worry about anything but get straight to work and help people that need to be helped uh, actually medyo derics but i've been going with my dad we've been uh we've been buying grocery for our family yeah. trying to learn the ropes uh, to the point na ako na lang mag-isa mismo yung bumibili ng pagkain so my dad could focus more in his company and help the people that need to be helped within his company so that indirectly i know that i was able to help in the smallest amount of change that i can yeah that's true uh, yeah and i i think that's ano that's 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 a perfect wrap around na parang alam mo going back to what you said then Derek, na parang or and what Ramon said about like couch potatoes and whatever <laughs> like alam mo some sometimes kasi the like like kunyari, there are some villages na hindi ka talaga pwedeng yes. mabas oh, right yeah. Or there, are, there are some, there are some cases yeah. na hindi ka talaga papayagan ng parents mm-hmm. mo to go out. But like, it's the spirit of service. Eh. Like, kunya yung ginagawa ni ano. If you can't, if if if, well, if you don't want to or you can't, um, or like the situation does not permit you to help a mass of people or like. Um, people na random people as like wise or ano start with your family mm. start with yeah. your friends super. kahit kahit yung mga simple i super appreciate yung mga people na nagme-message na parang oh how are you Kyle oh, um oh, alam mo yeah. parang nagche-check up din sila cause there's yeah. also a fight in like mental yeah. health and whatever in that alam mo right? as in basta tulungan tayong lahat will be fine Tulung, tulungan tayo as in basta tulungan tayo yes, um do your small part big part yes, especially alam. with the yeah. the situation right now it's really negative so I mean, you know, like uh, what, like what, what Kaya said kanina na just a simple chat to your friends or like, uh, kamo sa mga parents mo when they get home from work or even like, you know, just trying to make yourself think positively right now is really going to help. Even even like that lang, you can even help others na. So like, you don't really need a huge amount of money. You don't really need like a like a to a, like a skill just to get to help others. I mean, start with yourself lang talaga. Like um. There's no one else to trust, and like uh, the initiative will always start with you. So if you want to help others, right? Yeah. Like, go bahala. How about you, Raf? Yeah, even yeah. The, uh, yeah, go Raf. Okay. Yeah. Oh, well, because um, <laughs> I, I mean, if you notice all of these, right? I mean, what they've been doing, it's all so extraordinary to us, and it's not like we all have the capacity to do so. So I think mm-hmm. what what we can do now is to turn this to turn our extra our Sorry, to turn our ordinary life into something extraordinary. So let's put something there into the work that we do to um try yeah. to make a dent in this world. Um, even if it's just for our families, yeah. let's put yeah. some love in that. You know, um, because we realize na um we're not doing as much, but in our own world, in our own homes, we can only do so much, right? Mm-hmm. So it's just it's as important to um. Keep those people in mind while doing what we do here at home. So that's how we can turn that ordinary life into something extraordinary. In a way, we can also help them, not, and not only ourselves. Yeah, but 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 then again, I mean, yun nga eh, Parang I feel like no one should put a measuring stick. Eh, no, how yeah, helpful yeah, you yeah. are, yeah, yeah. No one, nev- no one can ever put that measuring stick. Na, ah, you're not there. Yeah, yeah. In what yeah, can but do. like. But I hope you guys, for the people who can yeah, go out and like do something as wild as wise, I hope na inspire kay by the people that we chose to interview. Like you don't have to be like a frontliner per se. There are, there are literally so many ways that we can all help each other, right? So, ako yeah. like actually last week nag start na rin ako to do something. I, I don't want to broadcast it, pero like na inspired din ako dun sa story nila wise. So I hope madaming ma inspired din by the you story. Know. So. So, all right, guys. Yeah, so that's we good. our episode. Yes. Yeah, we good. Yeah, ang ganda. So that's ang our ganda. episode. So, guys, if you're gonna take away anything, if you're gonna, if you, if any one of you will take away anything from this episode, be a couch potato. With yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, <laughs> yes. Oh, that's actually no. really nice. That's actually nice. Be, Wait, now, yeah. pa natin yung service. Be a couch potato with a melting heart for us. Yes, with a heart. Yes. Oh, oh. <laughs> so, di ba ano yun? Hot potato? Uh, Since it's warm oh, na. Okay, okay, guys. Know, <laughs> okay, so it's, it's a know, baked potato. <laughs> De, I hope, I hope, I hope though na parang, so your like ending statement ko na is like, um, 
I hope na entertain din kayo or like some this is some I hopefully something pa, 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 positive. I hope this is positive, something po- positive then. <laughs> Alam mo yun, uh, just to quote positive. also yung sinabi ni 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 ano mm, yeah. ni Wise. Um even like sharing content that's positive mm, is super memes, helpful yeah. nowadays. Yeah, yeah. yeah the, even That's memes. very true though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Any Hubert so, Any thank you very much, Kyle. Thank you very much, Ramon. Thank you very much, Rafi. And most of all, thank you very much to all of the frontliners who are yeah. our real yeah. life Avengers. Some uh, uh, kayo ng mga shout out, mga shout oh, out, mga shout, shout out, out, out no? um, Agatha yeah, Wise, uh, oh, shout, out shout out to Wise, yeah. shout out to Agatha, shout out to MMC, Kasanga, 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 shout. The USG, oh, the USG, shout the out USG. to the USG. Yeah. Uh, shout out to all the teachers right now. Like, basta ang daming pwedeng i-shout out. I-shout out na lang natin lahat ng shout out. Shout out to the shout outs. Right. Shout out to Catalyst. Uh-oh. Sa mga ano, sa mga couch yeah. potato. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to our Keep parents. sitting down. Boy. Never leave your house. <laughs> <laughs> Never leave your house, please. And for the person that, yeah. by, by this time, kung, kung na-realize mo na ikaw yung sinasabi ko sa Marcos Highway. Um, Pihan mo na lang si Kyle. <laughs> Just laugh, bro. Uh, I meant no offense. Stay home. I meant no offense, wait, wait. pero <laughs> stay home, friend. Please. Stay please. Oh my God. Please. Just think about these Yeah, people. di ka naman makabili ng alak. Isang kabibili ng alak, Baka naman kasi mag-dodonate, di ba? Ang ganda ng alak. Ang di nga. Ang di nga. Basta yung caption niya. Alright. So, let's wrap this whole so thing up. So, I'm Derek Lee, together with my co-hosts Kyle, Ramon, Rafi, and on behalf of the Bosun, thank you very much. And, and DR95. And DR95. Always remember, be a couch potato with a melting heart for others. <laughs>